it is a new month, March 1st, and thus far, we have had some real volatility on the markets. It's been crazy this morning. I'm looking at the futures. They are up this morning, and we did close out yesterday in positive territory, but I think we all know, judging from our statements, that it has been a rough couple of months, 2016, out off to a terrific start. I'm a bit concerned about uh, some of my investments in my 401k, and I'm sure all of you are as well. And Matt Peck from SHP Financial joining us this morning to talk a little more bit about that. Matt, good morning. Good morning, guys. Uh, happy uh, Happy Super Tuesday. Thank you, you very much. It's Super Tuesday, and it's March 1st, and I think a lot of people are thinking the exact same thing uh, that I've been thinking, and that's that 2016 has got off to a bumpy start. We're hoping a new month means uh, something new on the markets. What are you guys uh, suggesting to all of your investors? Well, certainly, anytime people are, anytime we do talk in terms of the market, you know, we do like to take a long-term perspective. You know, I mean, the, one of the biggest things to consider when you are putting money in the market is just, you know, your overall time horizon. You know, no one should be in the market um, that expects to take the money out within a year or three years without, you know, making sure that you have the intestinal fortitude, if you will, to uh, to survive you know the, these global shocks whether it's you know china's demand or whether it's the um the supply glut that's happening in oil um it's uh, it's just something you have to make sure you put it all in perspective sure and and that really is sort of the takeaway isn't it at this point i know it's been a cu- tough couple of months but now is not the time to jump off well, well, correct, and, and I think the, 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 the biggest concern that, that we have, generally speaking, is that the perception becomes the reality. Because what, what happens right now is that when, when clients do see, uh, you know, their, their portfolios drop, and, and when, when they see statements and they see losses, even though right now, as, you know, we, we, we obviously, it could be better, you know, economically, but no, but there haven't been layoffs. You know, there hasn't been the, uh, the defaults that are happening, you know, similar, uh, uh, like, like there was in 2008. And so without the layoffs and without the defaults and, and some of the subprime mess that we were in, uh, you know, we're domestically, we're okay. Mm-hmm. But when people see the news and, and when they see that volatility and then, and then they see the, um, the respective or, or the correlating fall in their, in their, in their money, they suddenly think like, oh, oh, wait, I, I should be worried. You know, should sure. I start saving? Should I start pulling back? Sure. And if the perception becomes a reality, then you know, th- there's a potential that we tilt towards the re- t- uh, tilt towards recession. And what you see does again come into uh, you know you know becomes what we what we all fear Absolutely. to happen, which is right. that recession, and then the the correlating loss is locked in. Yeah, unfortunately, that frequently that's what happens with traders, though, Matt. You know, they the perception becomes reality for them. There's there's so much anticipation all the time, uh, which can be very tough. I know when you guys talk to people who are putting together a retirement plan, you talk to them a lot about you know their their how their risk tolerance and how much they can really take are are you talking to a lot of people about putting their money in the markets right now when it comes to their retirement well, it, it, it depends on where they are, Kim. So I mentioned a little bit about the, again, the, the time horizon. I mean, there always should be some amount of your portfolio that's in the market for long-term growth. But the biggest thing that we talk about when it comes to retirement is controlling volatility, Okay, we tell all of our clients that at this stage in your life, you know, let's say you're 55 and above and you're just about to enter retirement, you can survive lower returns. You can survive a four, five, six percent year when everyone else is doing really well. But what you can't survive are the large losses. You can't survive another, another uh, 2008 or another 2001. You can't survive this 20 to 30 percent fall in your portfolio. Mm-hmm. Right. So what we do is when, when you balance and you correctly balance a portfolio between income and growth funds and the different, um, you know, the number of different instruments that you can use. When you control the volatility, you make sure that you don't strike out. You know, and sometimes we talk in terms of a baseball analogy. We say, look, it's all about singles and doubles. Yeah, you're not going to hit a home run and the crowd's not going to go wild, but you know what you're also not going to do? You're not going to strike out and you're not going to get these huge negative numbers. So as long as you control volatility, and as long as the fact that you are missing out on those large losses, Mm-hmm. That's the way to manage it when it comes to retirement. 
Well, there's a lot to think about. It's and difficult. I know it is difficult, and you guys are experts at it there at SHP Financial. Uh, let's keep our fingers crossed for uh, some continued positive movement in the month of, month of March when it comes to investments. Uh, thank you very much. Great to have you with us, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Anytime, guys. Really appreciate it. You bet. That's Matt Peck from SHP Financial.